Hey guys, it's Rez. I just wanted to do a check-in. I hope everybody has an amazing, safe, blessed, peaceful holiday. Hope you eat tons of good food and you're just around people that love you. Um, I wanted to check in. Uh, it's been six months now and uh, what's happening is this is not healing, so we have this on for six more weeks, um, and then we're gonna try to do a splint, and I'll do physical therapy for that. Um, but this is, what, this is what's been happening. I am a little bit of the Rocky IV mentality, and I remember when I was in Hackensack in my hospital bed and people were helping me turn left to right and I, I couldn't use my legs, I couldn't use anything and I remember thinking, once I get to PT, I'm gonna kick ass, I'm just gonna like, this this freaking accident never happened, we're just gonna like, we're gonna knock it out of the park. <laughs> and so what happened is I have a great fighter mentality and I got to PT and I started knocking it out of the park and I started getting super strong and then I hit a wall and that wall means calm down Therese. <laughs> so I uh, spoke to my surgeons and I spoke to my physical therapists who are my angels and I explained what I've been doing, how I've been doing and the pain level that I've been living with and they all agreed, uh, you know, keep working out but dial it down to about a five. Uh, I think there was a part of my brain that thought if I could just work out enough and do physical therapy good enough, then this crash never happened. And I think if you've been through a major uh, incident like this in your life, you understand that mentality that it's really difficult to just accept that this did happen and that my body will be physically different for the rest of my life. Uh, my right leg has 35 screws, plates, and rods in it, holding it together. Um, in another six months, I may have a knee replacement surgery where those seven screws can come out. We'll see, we'll see where I am and how I'm healing. My bones need time to heal. Healing needs time to heal. And I've been trying to rush this whole thing and just get better really quick so that in some way I didn't have to feel what actually happened. So I know this is a long check-in. I just wanted to share honestly and openly if anyone's going through something like this. Um, the thing that I've been trying to run away from, walk away from, work out away from, is the grief and uh, it's real. And so what I'm choosing to do, I'm gonna continue working out, but at a more manageable level. But what I'm also choosing to do is pull up a chair and sit down and take a deep breath and just be with my grief. I gotta go through it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. And I have to. So I love you guys so much. I am walking through this one step at a time, one day at a time. It's gonna be okay. It is okay and your love and support and everything that you've done is making it even better. So I love you guys so much. I hope you have a happy, healthy, safe, peaceful holiday. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'll just, I'll keep checking in and letting you know how it's going. Mwah! Thank you so much.